Wuxi Lake in the southeast of Wuhan welcomes some new residents. At five o'clock in the morning, Baoshi Lake has yet to spring to life. Mr. Zhu has already started a busy day. Before the neighborhood wakes up, he wastes no time collecting the crawfish. Zhu profited from this specialty until some newcomers introduced themselves to his crawfish pond. He shoulders a new responsibility. These bears' poachers were born in the summer. They resemble their parents in size and frolic all day, though. Two years ago, these birds used to live in northeastern China and eastern Russia. Now they travel all the way here to be the neighbors of Zhu's crawfish. An ideal breeding ground must have ample food sources. The small fish and shrimp in the pond have become the poachers' favorites. However, bears' poachers are rather timid and wary by nature. They always groom and keep a close eye on their surroundings. leaves make up a perfect playground. The most popular lotus leaf is worth fighting for. It's too bad they pull out. But the finale. Mr. Xu's pond is crowded with more and more newcomers. Intermediate egrets, yellow bitterns, common coots, and spot-billed ducks all settle down here. Keeping a proper distance is rule number one of the community. At first, Zhu didn't notice those bears' poachers. When more people came to see them, he realized that these visitors are under first-class state protection and recognized as critically endangered by the IUCN. Zhu has other things to care about, apart from his crawfish business. Recording the poacher's numbers and growth has become part of his daily routine. Thanks to the suitable ecological environment at Baoshi Lake and compassionate wildlife protectors like Zhu, the bears' poachers chose Wuhan as their southernmost breeding ground in China. This is no longer a stopover for them, but a new home in which to thrive. <laughs>